Okay, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. For those of you that are just stumbling across this for the third time, my Facebook page has hiccuped a couple of times. It has not, uh, either the subject matter is not wanting to be spoken of by the soul world, or the frequencies are too high. I am running a frequency machine uh, while I'm doing this activity, so it's possible the frequency machine is shorting out the cell phone. So I turned it off, and I hope that <laughs> I'll be able to maintain uh, a strong feed this time. So please uh, bear with me. We're going to wait just a few more minutes, let everyone reconnect, and then we'll go ahead and move back into the wisdom and teachings. For those that are new, just tuning in, um, I do recommend you go back at least to see the second one as I set up the stage for the information regarding the yin-yang uh, laws and the nature of yin-yang in the universe, in our universe, in the bigger universe. <clears throat> and I will go back into the um, wisdom I was connecting to the soul of the nature of yin-yang and offering guidance and wisdom at this time. So as we reconnect and as more people join, then I will uh, connect there. So thank you all for your patience, your tenacity, your willingness to come back, uh, keeping a happy smile on, <clears throat> right? This is a great opportunity to see everything as an opportunity to say thank you. This is good testing though. I've been doing this about a year and I remember the first month or two when this would happen. Oh, I would go through such testing. I had such attachment to the success of the live stream. Now, what can I do, right? All you can do is say thank you and figure that it has a bigger reason than I can identify at this time. Okay, so a vast majority of you have retuned in. <clears throat> I did have a moment to go listen to where the last one cut off. So I will see where heaven wants to communicate and then just start back in there. Okay? So thank you all for returning. So I'm going to reconnect. <clears throat> How? This is the soul of the yin-yang theory and yin-yang nature. I will take a few minutes to reconnect to the information previously shared that all of you can receive deeper insights. Yin Yang is not limited to the human being. In fact, it is in all spaces, in all universes, everywhere, regardless of location. What separates the Yin Yang world from the creation that created it is the nature of the experience. It has been said that this experience, this third dimensional experience is an illusion. This is, I'm sure, difficult to comprehend from the mind level. The nature of yin yang <coughs> is such that it is easy to become trapped in the fiery or the loving side of it. And it carries as an aspect of its nature karma. It is a place in which spiritual debt and spiritual virtue can be worked out to fully bring into alignment and balance your inner and outer nature, your pure and true self. It is the place through which imbalance and realignment to your original self occurs. When those who have reached full enlightenment are literally ejected from the yin-yang world 
and find themselves in the space of nothingness, they find that they are no longer bound by the laws of this world. They can go from one place to another, free of limitations. Time is not existent in the world outside of yin yang. Distance has no relevance in the world outside of yin yang. The laws of gravity do not apply to the soul that has risen above the yin yang world. The yin yang world occurs in all universes for those souls that are in the process of awakening to their highest truest nature and those that you refer to as angels masters buddhas enlightened ones etc <clears throat> are not all necessarily free of the yin yang experience some have to reincarnate because they have not completed their karmic path. But whilst in the realm not limited, such as the yin yang experience, they can come and go following the rules of the space of the Tao, the, the world of creation that creates all things from nothing. The laws of yin and yang are quite large in their girth, but quite simple in their truth. The path in from the base of the structure is through the middle. When one continues to go around in a circle, <clears throat> they are farther and farther away from the source. The middle path <clears throat> is the path that leads to enlightenment. The Buddha said that it was not the starvation or the lack where he reached enlightenment. And it was not the excess where he reached the enlightenment. It was the middle path where he reached the enlightenment. The trajectory to accomplish this can be done by the clearing of your spiritual debts and by the service to others. Because it is the service to self that creates the separation between the worlds, the separation between you and the neighbor, the separation between you and yourself. Each of these thoughts and beliefs of separation, actions and words of separation, create more of exactly that. The middle path acknowledges the oneness of all things and it is all actions towards that that is the solution to leave the illusion if you will of this world <clears throat> this is sufficient to be shared at this time Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you to the soul of the yin-yang theory for that additional wisdom. In the physical world, <coughs> almost all of our wisdom, <coughs> excuse me, you know, I didn't have this before I started the live stream. No coughing, none of that. Purification, thank you. Welcome, Nick Corey. 
Welcome Nabadita and welcome also to Bridget Regit. Uh, thank you for your attendance. So I want to go back to what Master Shah was teaching at some of his, his retreats <clears throat> about the nature of yin-yang in the human vessel and how the Tao point is the Ming-Min point and the heart center is the yin center. The message center is spoken about substantially in, in teachings around the world, the heart center, heart chakra. In Master Shah's teachings, he is one of the few teachers I see go into it in great depths. He refers to the center as the center where heaven communicates to us, where we receive our messages. The purity of the heart center is definitely reflective of the purity of the messages that we receive. <clears throat> the intention of the individual indicates also the message, the purity of the messages we receive. I was listening to some information yesterday and it was about the nature of channeling and how um, some people can receive negative messages even though they tend to uh, tend to receive positive ones. And the information went on to say that one of the reasons why is because they flip out of their a world of positivity. They go down an angry path for a little while. Uh, and what that in essence does is it opens us up to receive messages um, that are not in alignment with love because we have shifted our frequency. We have not maintained uh, a purity. And so on the yin-yang path, on the path, to the Tao, the, the path to the oneness, the, the place where all things are created. It is very, very important to pay attention to, to everything that we do on a consistent basis. Just the uh, moving into a place of anger can knock us off in a far greater way than we understand. It can literally uh, take us right off that path. If you think of our world, our physical world, meaning your world, my world, what I see it as, what you see it as, which is entirely different than how I see it. Mine is not better than yours. Yours is not better than mine. We just all see entirely differently. <clears throat> and if we think about walking that fine line down the middle of that yin-yang path where we have the yin on one side, the yang on the other, okay? That is literally the path that we individually need to walk. And the wisdom that has come before us teaches us, see no evil, speak no evil, think no evil. It comes in one eye, it goes out the two ears. It goes in both ears, goes right out the mouth. We don't give it a second thought. We move on eight seconds later. That's the average attention span of the average individual is eight seconds. And we have a lot to owe to the electronic world for that. We uh, really need to be conscientious a lot more because the moment we allow any form of neg negativity to come in it knocks us off our rocker i got knocked off several times today by um, negativity coming from other places and my own button getting pushed by communications i had to look at that why am i upset these are my buttons i have to deal with that uh sometimes the person that's communicating with me, um, and, and in this case my wife, <clears throat> is just sharing. It has nothing to do with me. But in her sharing, I can feel her aggression. I can feel her upsetness, her emotions, and it can make me come off of my balance because I care. I don't want her to be in that place because she's in that place. That can knock me off my balance, blah, blah, blah. We have to be self-responsible for our vessel for our vehicle we have to be respectful uh, that that we we are messengers in so many ways by holding that middle ground by being in a place of compassion a place of love a place of allowance allowing that other person to express whatever they're going through and instead of trying to fix it which is very often what we do and, and i say that loosely but it's probably true for everyone watching if we are made uncomfortable by somebody else's communication that's because we don't have the tool set to deal with it we want to shut it down and so we offer uh uh, solutions basically or guidance or wisdom or something uh, in hopes that it, it 
uh, it causes them to be happy and then they stop because their emotions are making us uncomfortable or whatever they're speaking about so if you ever find yourself being in a place where the child is talking about the bully or the uh, uh, the, the wife is talking about something at work or, or they're blaming you or whatever is going on and you find yourself starting to get a little bit off kilter and you know that's not where you want to be remember the solution is compassion the solution is love always the solution is the middle road don't take it personally recognize that in most cases that person that's communicating with you they just want to be heard that's all you want right you just want to be heard so in order to stay in this middle road this yin yang balance that leads us to enlightenment we have to respect ourselves by disallowing these things on either side of us to knock us off our kilter that's loving ourselves. that's seeing everything from that little higher threshold not not the the threshold of um, I am better the threshold of I'm going to hold a loving place as you express this irritation whether it's towards me or you're just expressing it I'm going to hold the place of compassion and allow you to completely um, unwind remove whatever is is burdening you at this moment so that I can be the one that assists both of us so that uh, I can be the one that can teach you also because by being this person by being this father this mother this best friend this husband this wife that operates down this middle road with consciousness we are allowing those on either side of us to see what it's like to be on that middle path to be balanced and that carries 10,000 times more weight than any kind of solution that we can offer them and when and if we offer the solution which there will be a time but it's typically when they're ready for it not when we want to offer it <laughs> have to be ready for it and they're usually not ready for it when they're blah 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 so we need to honor who wherever other people are at and ourself when we're nearest now sometimes we're already in it right sometimes we're already you know knee deep in the emotion whatever it might be so in those instances you know there's a couple different soul secrets you can do to back your way out of it <clears throat> one of them is simply to start loving yourself just kind of laugh at yourself oh I let myself get into this emotional place okay where did this happen if you're conscious enough you can actually walk it backwards okay I received this phone call and that triggered this thought which reminded me of my ex and that triggered my anger and then my kid went off and that triggered you know a lack of respect and you can actually just see how it all one jumped on the other and you can laugh at it and you say okay you know I need to love myself more than that um, a lot of this is just a recognition of the things that trigger us and each of those per the teaching of the day is an opportunity it's not that any of this information is overly enlightening or new to any of you it's more about how can we be present with our thoughts our words and our actions more in the moment each and every time which allows us to keep that yin yang balance this is enlightenment this is how all of the masters have done it if you ever read any of the books or you ever hear any of their speeches they're all saying in essence the same thing see no evil speak no evil hear no evil what does see no evil mean that means when somebody is is yelling or whatever you're in this place of love and compassion that means turning off the 24 7 bad news that means seeing no evil don't go see the slasher flicks make better choices um, hearing no evil okay that means removing yourself from people that are constant complainers okay um, uh, one of master Shaw's teachings is that when when people complain and you say nothing to them you are actually this is interesting I tell you I had a lot of issue with this but his teaching is you're actually generating karma yourself by sitting there listening to their complaining and not saying anything because in essence what you're doing is you're allowing poison to spew out over everyone and everything so uh, if you find yourself around a constant complainer his suggestion is uh, like this I had to listen to it like 10 times so you might want to write this one down because I had a mental block I could not 
grasp it. He taught it 10 times. 10 times it went one ear out the other. When I heard someone complaining and I went to try to find it, I couldn't find it. Talk about a mental block, right? I must have really liked complaining myself because I didn't want to do what it took to mention it to them. But what he said was these words, excuse me, uh, I'm really not enjoying this communication right now. Can you think of something different to say at this time that has more love in it that is not complaining? I mean, it sounded, when I first heard it, it sounded very abrupt, like, oh my God, that would be so rude to say. But, you know, the way Master Shah said this very loving, excuse me, I'm really not wanting to hear this right now. Uh, can you change the subject or can you think of something that's not complaining to talk about? Very simple, right? But I had all this attachment to hurting their feelings, da 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 da. But in essence, they were losing virtue by complaining. And I was losing virtue by allowing them to complain. I was shifting my yin yang field out of balance. I was not honoring myself. In fact, I was bringing my energy down because I was uh, in a place where um, I went from. Uh, uh, Empathy to sympathy. Sympathy is, oh my God, you're right, oh. Empathy is, I understand, uh-huh, I understand, uh-huh. So there's a difference between complaining and sharing. Sharing is not blaming the other person. Sharing is, this happened at work. I feel very sad about it because I was really hoping that it would not happen. That's sharing. Complaining is, that's SOB boss. I can't believe he did this to me and me again and again and again. That's complaining. That's putting the blame outside of somebody. So there's a huge difference between sharing and complaining. We have to be protectors of our own health and wellness. We have to be protectors of our own energy system. We have to honor by watching our thoughts, our words, and our actions. And that includes that which comes to us. You will discover that a great deal of the things that cause irritation for you are things that come from the outside to you. And maybe it's just you read something. You read something about Trump or you read something about a molester or you read something about da 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 and it brings up a fire in you. <coughs> uh, I'm not saying that it's right or wrong or good or bad. I'm saying that you want to pay attention at those moments you can you can send I send love to all those that have ever been impacted negatively by those kinds of souls uh, and then move on right how do you address these things do you let them move you sway you jerk you out of your balance another way to maintain yin yang balance is meditation something I clearly admit that I do not do even remotely enough. But I bring it up here because one of the things about teaching is that when we teach, we learn. And so I always learn when I teach. And also when I speak about it out loud, it puts me into an obligatory state. And so I say this because some of you probably are avid uh, meditators. You give it at least an hour a day. Congratulations. My mind tends to be a bit too busy. I can come up with a thousand more excuses, but the bottom line is uh, meditation has great, great benefit for us. One of the benefits is that it allows us to move closer to the world which created us, the, the Tao or that which created everything, the nothingness from which everything is created can be much more easily accessed when we pause and meditate. I've been blessed to have a spiritual teacher that does downloads, transmissions, clears karma, does all kinds of stuff <coughs> that has allowed me to move much higher to those realms without having to do the legwork down here, such as meditation and whatnot. But the reality is if I want to go higher, that's the only way to do it. <coughs> this teacher is going to take four months off not going to do any teachings nothing for the last 18 19 years he's been teaching literally six, 16 17 hours a day no days off at all I, I know this factually for the last 18 years and heaven is telling him in order for you to go higher master shah 
you have to sit and meditate you have to step away from everything give up the reins and connect higher to the source that created you so why am I telling you this because I see this happening with my teacher so it must be a truth this is another way to maintain higher levels of yin and yang balance how many of you have done meditation and come out of it and had some drama happen around you and you're just like floating on a cloud watching it going oh that's interesting uh-huh you handle things dramatically better because you're coming from a place that's much more relaxed not caught up in the emotion of the moment <clears throat> When we do the practices that have been taught of, taught uh, uh, for this last year, and all the practices that Master Shah teaches, what in essence we're doing is we're bringing balance to that which is imbalanced. Uh, the five elements, the wood element, fire, metal, earth, water, uh, in terms of the organs, that is the liver, the heart, the lungs, the spleen, and the kidneys. These are the five elements. In terms of the emotions, that's anger. Uh, anxiety and depression grief and sadness um, uh, uh, and then also fear we all know these organs and we all know these emotions but we fail to recognize that they can be whacked in their imbalance why because the five elements do not have their yin and yang balance everything that this teacher teaches is about how to reach enlightenment the fastest way possible <clears throat> so when we for example do the blessings to clear the blockages in the chakras when we do the blessings to balance our five elements when we do the blessings to open our heart center clear the blockages get a healing and transmission system get a brand new message center clear the karma put in a light wall protection you do the same thing for like your Ming Men point what are you doing you're bringing balance you're allowing yourself to not get so whacked from either side that's coming at you it's kind of like building a bigger ship on that big sea of life and you come out with this with this little sailboat and pretty soon you're the cruise ship that can handle the big waves <clears throat> but in order to become that cruise ship you have to continue to clear the blockages and apply the wisdoms that have been brought to us by the many many sages that have come to humanity over the course of life <coughs> excuse me so we are very very blessed to have these opportunities available to us and i see many of the comments popping up that love is the solution it absolutely is love is in all instances the absolute highest solution no questions asked and so let us do uh, a practice to balance our yin and yang <clears throat> let me check what's going to be the highest and best practice and the highest and best for powers give me a moment please hey aloha jana great to see you so we're going to actually offer a service we're going to offer a service to help Mother Earth balance her yin and yang imbalances. <clears throat> I mentioned yesterday, uh, my teacher did a reading. He asked Kevin, how much positivity on Earth, how much negativity on Earth? Right now, it's a 60-40. 60% negative, 40% uh, positive. And he indicates that's why we're still in a heap of turmoil. That's why there's still a great potential for massive, massive calamities. Um, if we don't become more in oneness if we don't become a more positive nature um, you if you look around you see the negativity uh, it's it's part of a a negative agenda in many ways <clears throat> those that are in control do not want to give up the control and they maintain the control control through negativity um, there's a great deal of money involved and that money controls the 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 ways that information is given to us so you have to be proactive turn off the tvs turn off the negative things don't put any attention into all of those negativities naturally you become more positive naturally that ups that 40 percent to 41 42 43 and so forth we have to be self-responsible we have a great opportunity to to bring that shift to 51 
And it's the 51 that makes all the difference in the world. And it doesn't take a lot of people. You'd be surprised. It doesn't take a lot of people. It takes constant intent. That's the big difference. So we're going to offer uh, chanting and blessing to bless Mother Earth. Because in this service, we are blessing 7 billion human souls and countless souls uh, that reside on Mother Earth. Because all stars, planets, galaxies, universes, all, uh, all trees, birds, everything has a soul. And so we will call other souls and we'll do this practice together. So let us start by placing our hands in the Soul Light Soul Service hand position, which is a hand mudra. <clears throat> so start like a prayer position. Drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Right hand remains pointed towards heaven. Close your eyes and let us fully connect. We will start with the forgiveness practice. Dear beloved Mother Earth, dear all souls of humanity, dear all the souls in and of Mother Earth that our Creator has created, I love you all, honor you all, respect you, deeply appreciate all that you have done. I wish to sincerely apologize, my beloved Mother Earth and all souls, for any harm that I have brought on all levels, any physical harm that I have brought to Mother Earth through my lack of respect, any uh, harm to the waterways of Mother Earth, through my lack of intelligence, understanding, and respect. Any harm that I have brought to the air that everyone breathes, to the plant life, to all of the different things that you, my beloved mother, bring to us. You give so unconditionally and so lovingly. And I am sure that in a few of my lifetimes, I may have made some significant mistakes that has brought great harm or suffering to you. And if I have, I sincerely apologize. They're all souls of humanity, all souls that Creator has created in this yin yang world. If I or my ancestors have brought any form of suffering to you by wrong thoughts, negativity, by remaining in places of negativity, by not following my spiritual journey strong enough. If I have created suffering for all souls as a result of my lack of love, my excessive anger, if I have offered wrong words to any souls in all time that have caused them to have significantly unpleasant emotions of anxiety or depression, fear, anger, grief, or sadness, if I have created actions in all time that have caused people to have severe depression, severe grief, or sadness, maybe I have taken the lives of others and not known about this from previous times. If I have created such negativity that at this time on earth we have such, such difficulty, from my heart I sincerely apologize. I ask most sincerely for your forgiveness and I ask that you join us today to offer this service of chanting. We ask the source soul song of love, peace and harmony to turn on. For those that are, are not aware, this song has been transmitted to all souls in all universes. So when we ask it to turn on, countless souls are chanting with us. And we ask all of these souls to chant with us in this unconditional service. We ask beloved Mother Earth to turn on her love, peace, harmony, Jindan light ball to chant with us at this time to help harmonize and balance the yin and yang of Mother Earth, of humanity, and of all souls. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That is the soul power for a creative visualization mind power. I want you to visualize the yin yang symbol on Mother Earth. And it is literally radiating to all of the souls, not just the humans, all the plant life, the air itself has molecules that have yin yang in them. 
Everything has yin and yang. And we're going to visualize this yin yang around Mother Earth balancing as we chant the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> For those that are new, Kristen has posted these words in the chat boxes. And the, maybe she has to do it again because we've <laughs> this live stream has kickstarted. This is the third time. But look for those words and you can join in with us. Let us do this for five straight minutes with all of our heart. This is unconditional service. You will be blessed beyond words. <clears throat> Afterwards, I will do a soul reading to tell you the benefit. Let us begin. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo I wo shin her ling Wo I trun ran lay Wong ling rong her mu shur shang Shang I ping on her she Shang I ping on her she I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo, ai, wo, shin. Arling, wo I trun ran lay, wang ling rung, her mu shur shong, shong I ping on her she, shong I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity, join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony, love, peace, and harmony. <clears throat> Visualize Mother Earth receiving huge balance. Heaven is bathing Mother Earth. The Creator, the Tao from which all things are created, is bathing Mother Earth, bathing humans. See yin yang symbols in everything. See the yin yang symbols in seven billion human beings. Everything is moving into balance. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo I wo shin her ling, 
I trod redly, warmly wrung her musher song, song I ping on a song I ping on a I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity, join hearts and souls together, love, peace, and harmony, <coughs> love, peace, and harmony. How? Keep your eyes closed. I will offer a soul reading at this time as to the value of this service. <coughs> How? This is Mother Earth. I love you all beyond words. For my love for each of you has no words. It is only the purity of all that I am that I give to you unequally to all souls. I give to you that which you can hold in your heart. For each of you are on a different frequency. And I have given you all that you can hold in different amounts. For each of you are on a unique path. Your service today has not just served me. It has served all souls in such a profound way. The message of yin-yang balance carries with it a blueprint, a signaling of the message of see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil. It carries with it the message of love instead of hate, the message of hope instead of fear, the message of oneness instead of separation. By chanting for this short period of time, you have infused the airwaves of life, so to speak, with the message of source of original oneness each of you has received several lifetimes of virtue because of the soul standing of this song and myself we have given you virtue for your service and that virtue far exceeds an individual blessing by a divine channel. The virtue is this big because of your unconditional service. There are far more than trillions upon trillions of souls that served here today. And each of them received virtue and each of them gave a virtue. And it is the collectiveness of this positivity that has created such a blessing for your virtue bank in heaven. Little is understood so sadly by all of those about this direct teaching, this simple five minute blessing that it could bring you such volumes of good karma. Much more needs to be comprehended by so many more souls then of course everyone would be doing it their motivations might not be initially pure but if they grasp the value of this collective service truly there would be standing room only this is the deeper insights of this service for you all to comprehend i love you i am your beloved mother earth how, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, Mother Earth. 
And thank you all. I bow my heads to each of you for your unconditional service. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I hope you enjoyed the teachings today on the nature of yin and yang. I hope that it served you. And I encourage you to listen again. Uh, the reason is because there are some very simple things that you can do in keeping yourself on a pathway of not getting knocked off. And by being aware of those very simple things that you can do, and by applying love, by applying forgiveness, just in those little knock-you-off things, by applying awareness, being above the conditions that come to knock you off, you can maintain the pathway to enlightenment much faster. So I thank you from my heart for coming today. I remind you of the blessings earlier this week that were offered yesterday for uh, energy, for releasing the blockages that are inhibiting you from having energy in your life, and the soul operation for your lower Dantian, all for the honor fee of 100 instead of the normal of 175, and for the healing and transmission systems for literally any organ, any system, any chakra, any emotion that you might be having major blockages with, you can receive the healing and transmission system, which clears massive amounts of the Shen Qi Jing karma blockages, gives you a brand new energy center for that area, organ or system, and a light wall protection. The honor fees are only a couple hundred dollars. Very reasonable. Do that for yourself or your friends. Um, the uh, energy blessings are only open for 10 days, though, so take advantage of those right away. That's uh, it's very special. So I love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Enjoy your weekend. I will see you next week on Monday. Uh, take advantage of the upcoming events and retreats. <coughs> and... Uh, the following weekend, I have a fire event, a fire element weekend. It's a four-hour teaching. Uh, make sure you learn more about that on my Facebook page. Love you guys. Bye-bye.